When I'm having a busy day and don't have time to prepare anything for lunch, I usually make tuna salad. This is one item we keep stocking or sometimes spare pantry because it's so versatile. You can make croquettes or Belize empanadas or just a salad. Welcome to the Bear Pantry Show. My name is Barbara. Let's start by chopping the vegetables. I'm using my favorite bell peppers or sweet peppers, the red, yellow, orange ones. And I'm just chopping them into small pieces. Well, hopefully small pieces. Careful when you're chopping, all right? You want to tuck your fingers in because you can cut the top like this, but you don't want to cut off the tip of your fingers. <laughs> Let me cut the orange ones. You might find it easier to take a little knife like this and do it because you want to chop it up small. See, I can do this a lot easier than with that big knife. See how easy this is? The smaller, the better. And I don't like the green bell peppers, that's why you don't see those here. But Jory was like, Mom, you really needed it to add the color. So you know what I'm gonna add the green color with? Jalapenos, jalapenos. You could omit this if you don't like peppers. Don't let me force you to put anything in your dishes that you don't like, all right? Because I don't allow anybody to do that to me. I'm gonna put onion, and I'm just using like the yellow onions. Put a little piece here. This is how I dice the onions. I just kind of go across one direction, and then go the next direction. That piece is gonna come out. And then turn it on its side and do this. when it comes to making any type of salad, color matters. I'm going to finish cutting this up, alright? I just want to move along for speed's sake. I've got aroma. I find that these tomatoes do better in certain dishes because they're not as watery as other types of tomatoes. So I think we have enough stuff to throw in our tuna salad. So let me go ahead and get the tin open. I've already washed it. I'm gonna drain it, of course. I'm gonna use mayo. I'm gonna use mayo and mustard. I don't have my low-fat mayo. I had it, but I can't find it. I don't know. I have two fridge and I just can't find it. Drain it. Let me grab a pretty bowl. And then we're going to toss. Give me a second, guys. I almost had a heart attack just now, guys, because I couldn't find my fringes. And all they had was this honey thing. I'm like, hmm, no. That's really gross, too. Not even. Jory's running camera for me today. Get the one can. Oh, can't get it out. Get my little knife. probably don't know that I do a lot here in this kitchen is wash my hands not even because of the clean thing but because it looks bad like if I'm doing that tuna and I go to do this it doesn't look presentable so oh I didn't finish this let me finish this then we're gonna toss everything in there okay about half a cup you guys see how pretty this is already touch of mustard. Now all this is going to be to your taste. It's about a tablespoon. I'm 
I think that's enough. We don't need to put any more mayo. Let me go ahead and taste. A little touch more mustard. That's why I say it's to your taste. Don't put any salt. The tuna has enough salt. Well, again, put the salt if you like salt though. But I'm just saying it's not really necessary. So I'm going to uh, put this in a beautiful bowl and then I'm going to come back and show you what I'm going to serve it with. All right, so I just put some more peppers on the top for my thumbnail picture. Oh, we're making a mess, guys. And you can eat this in a sandwich. You can eat it by itself, especially if you're doing that keto thing. You can eat it on Ritz. I went to a wedding one time where they had this like in a big ball, like a big volcano looking type thing. And you just go and you just scoop out a bunch of tuna salad. It's like, that was original. I, I kind of liked it. So this is just one idea of how you can serve it. I love Ritz crackers, but five Ritz crackers is a serving, okay? Only five. All right, so let me taste fully. Mm-hmm before I stuff my mouth guys thank you so much for watching the show please consider following the page don't forget to like don't forget to share and I look forward to your comments tell me what you put in your tuna Do you put more or less the same thing you put celery the reason that I don't like celery is because when I was on a diet in the 1980s they had me eat that with peanut butter all the time as a snack and I have a Pavlov's dog type thing with it it's like ugh, no but you know celery really doesn't taste bad it's just my brain but anyways let's go Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Say hello to Mama. Hi, everybody. This morning with one local family. Let's get a certain amount of food to lose. Look what I have. Your hands are good.